Are we live yet? I can't actually see. I think we might be. Right, we are live. Everyone in chat, if you can just tell me if you can actually hear me. If it looks all right. Sorry, it's a little bit cloudy in here. So someone say if you can hear me, because obviously I'm known for getting the uh, audio wrong and stuff like that. God, the bloody... I look a bit orange, don't I? <laughs> You're lively. Do not swear. Right, two seconds, guys. Just frigging around a minute. I think we're not going to get much better than that, to be honest. So, um, so you can hear me and everything looks okay. Lovely job. <laughs> yeah, I'm back on, guys. Uh, ever so sorry. Anyone who tuned in at 8, um, 8, 30, 8 o'clock even. Uh, big apologies for that. Uh, had a bit of an issue uh, going on, and it's been dealt with now. So uh, we are back. So, yeah, so hopefully we can get this done. Uh, yeah, we've got to do a bit of a live mail later as well, so this could be all sorts of fun indeed. Right, I'm just going to catch my breath, have a swig. I've got a bit of Thatcher's here on the go. Yeah, but all okay now, thanks, Stephen. Let a few trickle in. We'll get on the review a little bit uh, later on, five minutes or so. So it looks like we've got about 20 in the room. I'll just read some shout-outs for you. Simon62, hello, mate. How are you doing? Hopefully you're back in here again. Everyone go and check out Simon62. He's got a new uh, YouTube channel. We just had a pod review the other day, so give him some love and subscribe to him. Kirk Stevens. we got Lane Jackson. How are you doing, buddy? Hope you got me a mail about the calls earlier, all right. Nick Jode. Nice to see you, bro. Edward Blockley, Meltdown is back. Yes, we did have a little bit of a meltdown earlier. Right. Nice to see you. What's up, Neil? sub -Ohm Silver Reviews, another decent uh, reviewer. He does his written reviews over on EC Click. Check him out, guys. David Adair, a meltdown before the build. New ground there, Mike. It's not new ground at all, mate, if you live in my life. Nice to see you, mate. Hi, Dion. How you doing? Stephen Cope, you can hear me. How are you doing, Stephen? Tom Briscoe, what's up, buddy? Jay Jones, how are you doing? I'm doing not too bad, thanks, mate. Evening, Phil. Evening, Tim. And evening, John Taylor. And we've even got 666 Toothless Paper. How are you doing, mate? Just going to open the window, mate. I'm getting a bit hot. So, how is everyone doing then? Oh dear, what a day. Anyway, before we get cracking, basically this is going to be the review of the Juggernaut V2 RT8, uh, which uh, has been, just been released. There's been a first batch released already, and I think the second batch is on pre-order over at QP Design. Now, I couldn't wait for that, and I didn't want to pay $25 or £25 shipping fee from uh, Canada. So I went out and bought it myself from Le Petit Vapeteur in Le Français, or Le France, or whatever it is. Uh, I'm English, so I'm ignorant, so I just say things in English. But uh, yeah, we've got it in today. Uh, well, I got it about two weeks ago, in fact, and I've been getting on with it. Uh, so we'll be going on to that in a little while. But in the meantime, why don't you mofos tell me what you're vaping on while I sit here and have a bit of a swig on my beer? It's not new ground, David said. Yeah, cheers, bro. I'll tell you what I'm vaping on, which isn't much at the moment, because I was vaping on the... Uh, the Juggernaut V2, but we have got the topside carbon here with the Pyro V3. We haven't got matchy matchy tip, but I quite like this one. Valley Vape, this one, a two mil capacity uh, dual core RDT8. And 
got it in squonk mode because you can fit 10 mil in the squonk bottle so you get five tanks worth for it so really awesome vape i'm getting off this and i will do the, the review hopefully sometime soon for that i'm using a kelpie rta i could not kelpie rta is actually pretty good mate to be fair i didn't go much on the rda but the, the rta is very good what's up uk vapester how you doing darling hey Ian morgan yes we got the pyro v3 I'm a bit light on things tonight because we're doing a review. We're going to be vaping on that in a minute. Uh, Dion, vaping on the Wicket Pelicid and the Tripod RTA with Golden Virginia. <laughs> Is that Golden Virginia? That's what I used to smoke along with drum. Uh, David Adair's using the Voltrode Lipo setup. Just finished some cookie chugs. I need to re-wick a new flavour. Uh, Neil Subohm is doing the old Doppo Odin Mini with Variant RDA. Very nice too. Yeah, it's a good combo. Now, I haven't got the uh, Odin, but I forgot the Variant. It wasn't bad. It came with a topside late, I do recall. Topside light. John Taylor's uh, vaping on the Intake Jewel and Glass Mini. What mods you got on them then, mate? 666, Peacemaker 25 on the Argus and the Freemax 200 kit. There's some interesting bits of kit in there. I've heard the uh, Peacemakers are really good, but i still yet to try them. I need to go and get myself one. Right, Tim Baker, Limelight Wicket with the Devoir or Devoir Mouth to Lung FL. I've got the, uh, the clone of that with my pipe mud. I haven't got it out here, but it's a really cracking vape. Steven, Steam Crave Garden with the Hadron, unbelievable flavour and battery life on the Hadron. Yeah, it's a bit of a brick, that one, but uh, you can't beat it for, for that, yes. And Ian Morgan's just ordered the Reload 26. Right, that's good to see. Right, the other thing I'm vap vaping on is the Ares version 2 and the SQ Mono by Dofpo and Signature Tips. Both the reviews are on the channel for this. So I love this Ares 2. You can pick it up for $20 from Sourcemore at the moment, I've noticed. Kirby Schmerby, Tollbox mod with the Turk V2. I've never tried a Turk, in fact. It's another one that I uh, haven't tried. Bit of cloud chuck in there, I presume, mate. Right, get myself together. Right, Edward Brockley, Kylin 2, Roman Miser V1 and V2, Ragnar, the Odin DNA, Vapresso, Lux, and Hadron. Nice few sit ups there. We'll talk about Steam Crave a little bit later on, in fact. But uh, yeah, I've fallen out with them. So yeah, I don't vape any of their stuff in public anymore. Well, I don't really vape it at all, in fact. But uh, there you go. Talk about that a bit later on. Anyone who's watched my live in the uh, forest the other day will know what I'm talking about. Right, let's have a look then. We've got 32 in here. It doesn't look like we're going to get much more, so we'll crack on with the review very shortly. Just have a couple of puffs on this. I am Damo Suzuki, evening sir. Here a TFE4, six to pull call, not too bad. Actually also a Matto on Liverpool 100. Fucking hell, I used to have a T TFE4. I used the RBA section with it as well. Really good uh, tank, sir, for the day. And I've got a Liverpool 100, but it's one with all those flashy lights. So I don't use that thing. I might have given it away, in fact. What's up, Brandon from New York, New York City. Nice to see you all. Right, when we actually go down uh, to do the review, we're going to start down on the uh, the low section. So you'll have to forgive me if I don't keep up the chat because I'm not going to be able to concentrate on it. So you'll just have to listen to me and watch the um, the video because we'll have the uh, table cam on and all of that and we'll be getting all the serious stuff out of the way. What's up, Fiona? Yeah, I am late. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a uh, uh, to-do <laughs> on, but it's all sorted now. So, yeah, we will get on with the actual download very shortly. There might be a couple more coming in. Should I wait a little bit longer? Let's have a look. 32. A couple more drags and we'll get on it. Yes, 
Yeah, so when I'm doing the down low, don't be surprised if I don't reply to your uh, chats because we will be putting a build in this one as well. But basically, we've got the Juggernaut V2 by QP Designs. So, just move my chat box out the wind out of the way. Shut that over there, and uh, let's go down to the table. Right here we are. Then you can see the box the wrong way up, but uh, fortunately I've got to do things back to front tonight, which is a little bit of a shame. But we can just about see the box there. Feel free to chat amongst yourself. I can still see it, but I might not be able to respond. It's nearly meltdown time. Right, so here is the box then. Usual flip style box. We do have a warning on there. QP Designs logo down there and Juggernaut V Tool. Dual core top airflow RD8. We've got nothing on that side. And on the back, you might be able to read that. We got all that lot being written down, but uh, I'll be talking all about it in a minute. So let's just open it up. And I've gone for the black version. It comes in these colors here. So flip the box open, just like that. Evening, Nicky Maynard, how you doing? Right, so we get a nice little QP sticker here, which I'll be sticking on something at a later point. A user manual, it's not a very big user manual, but it basically just says put your coil in, put your cotton in and vape on it, I expect. Just adjust that a second. Right, we've also got the authentication card. Authentication with this serial number. I got uh, serial 860 because this is a genuine product all the way from Canada originally. And it's um, I got it from France, Le Petit Vapeteur, if anyone is interested. Because I got it for about 58 euros. And they got a bit of a cashback thing going on over there as well. So, um, yeah, next purchase I got, I think I got 10, 10 quid off the next purchase because they I basically earned f five credits, but they doubled it up for that particular period because they were doing the promotion. So, yeah, I bought a few other bits as well. We've also got the QP, uh, what's it called? The Gator RTA, which I will be reviewing soon as well. Juggernaut, not naught. Is that a spelling mistake? Yeah, I, I want to say naught, but it is the juggernaut. Right, we got the bubble tank here. I just fucking one thing I forgot to write down is how much it bloody tanks. Does it tell you on the back? I can't remember what it is. I think it's six mil the bubble, and the straight glass is four, if I'm not mistaken. So inside there, you got juggernaut written on there. You get a little QP design uh, bandy thing there vape band you also get a little spare drip tip a bit of a slope going on there 810 fitting usual bag of o-rings you've also got this gasket thing which you put around the top we'll show you that on the tank allen key and all of that to jazz and spare flatheads and then we come on to the start of the show so let's just put this lot away and then get on to it Chuck it on my little vape stand there I got from Le Petit Vapeteur as well. Juggernaut, I really like that one, except for the strange top side feel, all pressed together. Let's see what the, where they fix that. Yeah, I have got that one, and we'll be showing it to you uh, in a bit as well. I've only got the um, clone of the original, but we have got it. Right, so here is, we've got black, which isn't the best colour to use when you're doing a live and it's dark outside. But uh, anyway, you'll notice we do have a couple of um, bungs in here. So let's just uh, take all apart. First thing you want to do is grab hold of this. Take that off. Take your glass off. And then these silicone bungs here basically bring it down to two mil, but... You really don't want to leave them on there because it won't vape, I don't think. But uh, yeah, so they come straight off. And uh, to be honest, I like putting it in bubble mode because you get more juice. But to put that on, just put that on just like that and twiddle it round. But before we do that, just show you on here, we do have an O-ring just around here. And uh, I'll tell you what, put the straight glass, it fits better for the moment. Evening, 
nature vape no stress for the build i'm sure none at all mate right so up top if you notice down the bottom guys we have got nature vapes logo there because i do use these calls in the build and like a gent i thought i'd advertise him during the um download section so hope you appreciate that mark <laughs> right so on top we've got basically a fatality drip tip uh I think it's slightly different, but it's like a glass strip tip. And it's a bit of a bugger to get off, in fact. But 810 fitting, all your other ones will fit on there. So that comes off. Get that slopey one on and just show you that. That's what we're looking like. So it looks pretty cool, actually. It's not a bad vape, but I tend to put one on one of my own ones on. Right, inside there, that bore, what did it come out at? 6.2 mil I measured on my calipers. So it's not the airiest vape in the world, this one. Hey, hello, Jacques. How are you doing? Right, look at the bottom first before we do the top. We've got Juggernaut V2 RTA and we've got QP there. And on the bottom, we've got the serial number. And I've got 860 and we've got a signature there. I'm not quite sure whose signature that is. But uh, there's your positive gold plate at 510 with a peak insulator. And if you look around like that, we got a lovely bit of protrusion. So definitely hybrid safe, but always check your own to make sure that it protrudes by a millimetre and make sure that peak insulator is around there if you're using it on a hybrid mechanical. No worries, Mark. So that is that. We've got, I don't know if you can look around the top, but there's not too much knurling or anything, but we've got a bayonet cap. So if you twiddle it around is it clockwise yeah it is clockwise towards you about quarter of a turn that's what it looked like under there so you just notice we've got these you know the bayonet groove pieces there there's no o-ring inside of here but if you look at the uh what do you call it the top here we've got the gasket now that does come out i uh, can't be bothered to get out at the moment but basically it's just stainless underneath but that's what that looks like and the bore is still 6.2 going through there the kidney shaped holes to be honest aren't the biggest in the world but they i'm using a bottle like this if you just look up the top there and this sort of tip will just about work but you just want to make sure you're doing it at a slight angle otherwise it might go down the middle so that is that if you put it back on so you just find the groove and twiddle it back the other way a quarter of a turn really nice top fit on there it works a treat right where's my airflow slots let's get the microphone over here because i'm speaking over here right we've got adjustable air floats coming from the top on here and it comes from both sides and we've got stoppers on either side you can open it where you want and then there's the same on the other side as well so let's take off the deck and have a look inside of here. Take off the glass as well. Right, so that airflow is coming through the top there and it's working its way down inside here. If you look inside the chamber, we've got a bit of a, um, a recess sort of chamber with two holes. Now let's get my screwdriver. So this is slightly different from the original because we have got um, holes coming from the top as well as from the side if i try and god it's hard work doing this the wrong camera angle but there you can see we've got that's the uh is that the juice flow one of them's the airflow i can't bloody remember at the moment yeah that's the juice flow on this side and that's the airflow coming from the top and this section does spin round like that it's in a cage and i don't think this chimney part comes off but that's what we're looking like inside there so you've got the beefy holes on the side plus you've got two airflow holes coming from the top yeah no leak here at all with this one mate so if you want to put your bubble on you just squeeze it round just like that and then you can put your base on right so here's the most interesting part then the deck section so i'm just going to get my old one the original jobby here right this is the the v1 version and uh, similar in looks but um, on this one the top fill is basically you have to pull it up a bit of a bugger it's like the obs engine type just like that and you push it back down again when you're done if i just take that off have a look in the build deck with this one 
This one's got a, a build in it as well, but they're very similar build decks. As you can just see there, the air is coming from the side, but the, the difference, well, that isn't the air, actually, that's the, uh, the juice flow ports. But the difference with this one is we've got airflow comes through the side here and it's also coming from the bottom so you notice that bit there it goes up there underneath your coil because if i get that original one again where is it uh, that's the one that side there it's literally just coming uh, that's the wrong bloody side it's coming through here isn't it it's coming through <laughs> don't do a live review it's the night it's just coming from the side so basically qp have just they've thought we'll add that little bit uh there coming from the bottom so it comes up underneath your core and the other decent thing with this is the screws are pretty solid flathead ones and they work a treat with this instead of the og one that i've got it's got very tiny um allen key screws and they're a bitch you need a really small allen key for it so that is that so that is your deck so give you some measurements of this tank we've got 28 millimeters at the base so this is 28 millimeters at the base it bulges out a little bit more when you've got the bubble tank on but we've got 38 millimeters in length and right the build deck area right, i measured 18.4 up to the like edges of the uh, wicking ports there we've got 13.6 uh, i think it's this way around 13.6 and 11.4 in between this side and this side and basically you get in about it's probably about 10 mil the actual size of the corms you can get in there but the, the core diameters, is, they're basically circular and we've got two millimetres all round for the cores and they're all flatheads. So what else have we got on here? We've got a peak insulator. Sorry about the light, it's a little bit low. We've got the peak insulator that goes around this part here, which is your positive uh, block and there's your negative on this side. So basically that means you could use a single core. So you can put a single core in the middle, which is put one leg over here one over there one there one over there or if you like you can just put dual core one here and one there and bring them both into the center but that is the deck guys so hi lynn smith how are you doing just bear with me guys just sort this lighting out a second I can feel a meltdown coming on. I can feel it all night long. All right, is that any better? Probably too bright now. Right, so that is basically your uh, tank guy aspect. We can see a little bit better now. I'm just going to go back up top because I need a fucking a, a vape break. <laughs> <laughs> right how we all do it right that was part one uh the, the light's gone a bit funny because we've just taken it off me but i'm just gonna have a quick sip on my drink anyone who's just joined me how are you all doing uh excuse my train tre trek of a um review here what's up rufus how you doing buddy we've just done the download section and we're going to get onto the build in a minute and what we're going to build it on is this little bad boy here, the Geek Vape uh, Aegis Max, which I've got him recently. The review will be coming up very shortly. Yeah, it is decent. The uh, threads and everything, the screws work very well. I was going to show you that when we do the, the download bit. But, um, yeah, how is everyone doing then? You enjoying your Saturday night? Let's see, we've got 40 in the house. Big love to every one of you that's uh, watching tonight. Just having a quick vape and a little chat for a couple of minutes because there's no rush, is there? Thirsty work, this uh, review in art line. Yeah, 28 millimeters, um, so it fits perfectly on the Aegis Max, mate. 
my auto zoom isn't going to work because I haven't got it on. So we will do the build on that very shortly. If if the uh, Rick, if the heavy hitter can accommodate a 28, I expect it will look awesome, mate. Because I've had it on my, um, uh, what's it called? The Purge uh, clone. It looked pretty cool. And that's a 30 outfit. Yeah, on the Thatchers, mate. Thatchers, Neil. Quick drag on the old um, Pyro V3. I'm using one here, Rufus. Where do, where does it say that? Diagnostics. 79.9 Fahrenheit, Rufus. If you can hear, and I've got the Mono SQ, which is the DNA 75C. Anyway, excuse me, guys. Yeah, just have a couple of puffs. Heavy hitters, a 26 and 28 top cut. Yeah, it looked fucking mint on there, then, mate. <clears throat> right, let's go down low again. Get on with this. So, right, so here she is, then, on the Aegis Max. This Aegis Max is quality. It's a, a single 21700, but I use a Modicel P42A in it, and it lasts me, basically, most of the day. And, um, yeah, it's um, a, a great vape. Even uh, 85 watts on a single battery, I'm getting decent battery life out of it. So, right, these screws on here, we've got flat heads. So, see if you can see them. Fucking hell, I can't do these camera angles. So, really nice threads on these screws. I'll have to just put it up to my eyes because I can't see shit. So basically undo all your screws and that comes through where the airflow comes, the screws do. And make sure all your holes are open just like that. So that is the first part of your job. I'll tell you what, let's try and get this a little bit better. Blocking the bloody light now, isn't it? That isn't very good, mate. Bloody live reviews. Who, whose idea was this? Hey, okay. Whose idea was this? It's all gone out of focus, little bastard. Right, what one is it? That's about it there. We're not going to get it much better course guys we haven't got the cannon out here tonight we were literally relying on my um what do you call it the c920 pro so you just have to bear with me with this but basically the calls we're using tonight from my mate mark over at nature vapor and what we're doing tonight mark i can't fucking read it very well I'll tell you what turn that light off a minute I've, we'll put it up to the other camera. You can't see that either. You motherfucker. Turn the light off. Right, there you go. You can see it now. Right, we're using some four-core parallel fused Clapton cores. And I have partially cheated because in true Blue Peter style. So let's get them out, the cores that I'm going to use. Anyone who wanted a quick review, you've come to the wrong fucking channel. <laughs> right, put that back on again. Right, and here are the the calls. This all looked really nice earlier when I was uh, doing it, but I can assure you they are decent calls, but let's put it up a little bit. You might be able to see them. There you go. So four core fused, and we've got these in stainless steel should come out to about 0 0.09 for the pair something like that 28 gauge times 4 40 gauge out of wrap so that is that 
check out Nature Vape because you can get packs of, I think they're in eight or six or eight, and they're like about £7.50 if I'm not mistaken. So do check them out. But let's just uh, see if we can build this sucker then, shall we? Right, incidentally, I cut my legs at 4.5, I believe, on the coily tool. If you haven't got one of these, I suggest you do because it makes life a, a lot easier because you can get nicely flush leg lengths just like that. What's Oh, David, David, <laughs> never mind the focus. What's with the echo? Fuck off with the echo. There can't be an echo. You motherfucker. If there's an echo, I'm going to kill myself. Right, so get your coil in just like that. You just drop it in. It isn't hard, guys. You can put a coiling rod in there, but I can't be bothered at the moment. And tighten up. Flathead screws. Lovely threads on them. Right, these are three millimeter in a diameter. To be honest, you're not really going to want to put much bigger than that in here because you'd end up the coils touching. It's up to you, but you probably could fit a 3.5, but I'll show you in a minute when we've done it what I'm talking about. They are good quality for the price. You can't, you can't really knock them eight to ten coils for about with each do me they might not li last a lifetime but they do me very nicely indeed so get your coil in rod pull i'm just going to pull that one right out of the way for the moment get the other coil in i can can't see shit right, let's do that like that yeah so 4.5 on the coily if you really want this is how I suggested it. Put your coiling rod in there so when you clamp them down, it doesn't sort of twist your legs. All right, I've got a bit of an issue there. I've lost one of my screws. <laughs> Only on a live show does that ever happen. What the fuck? I'm going to have to go in my spares pack. Can you believe it? What is the low ohm limit on the Aegis Max? Uh, I think it's something like 0 0.06, but I'm not totally sure, mate. I'll tell you after I've done this review, to be honest. I've got another one out here if need be. Anyway, I've lost the bloody screw. Yeah, I haven't looked at the instructions yet on the Max. I can't believe one of the screws has fallen out. There it is. Oh my jeez. God, I, I heard, read the other day Bogan had a nightmare doing a live review. C can you believe one of the bloody screws came out? Oh God. I don't know how I'm going to get this in here. Right, so get yourself a pair of tweezers. Yeah, I found the screw now, Tim. Trying to get the bastard back in now. I'll tell you what, you wouldn't realise how hard this is to do live. I know it sounds like an excuse that all reviewers give, but trust me, it's a bloody nightmare doing it live. So get that in there like that. Right, tighten up, you bitch. Make sure they're all nice and tight. You want them as tight as you can get them, really, because we've got complex coils. You can give them a good old crank because then you can make sure you get the best connection. Right, there we go. That is that. We don't need those spare O-rings anymore. Get your coil. Coil in rod and then... I like to give it a little tug up as well and put it across. Now, 
No dirty uh, innuendos, please. How's that looking? Yeah, these are nice looking calls, these stainless ones. You probably could put three and a half in here quite easy. I expect Chuki has in chat. <laughs> Cheers, Mark. Good recovery. You wouldn't believe it, Mark. Uh, you know, how often does a screw come out when you're bloody building? Not very often at all. Right. God, you lot must be getting right bored out of your brains now, aren't you? Right, so there we go. That doesn't look too bad, actually, for a live, does it? Come on, admit it, guys. Right, so what you want, you see just under there, we've just got that bottom underside being hit, and you want a little gap between the base and there, and I can assure you there is a little gap. I like to have the bottom underside being hit. Right. That looks pretty damn good, actually. Right, let's see what's coming out. Perfect, Mark. 0 0.09, which is what it should be. So let's give these a, a few pulses, shall we? Let's get some of that fucking light on it. Right, any newbies watching this, once you've got your calls in, you can, if you're using space calls, you don't really need to pulse them. But if they're contact like this, you want to give them a few pulses and uh, get your tweezers, get rid of any hot spots. It's, look at those colours I'm getting. Beauty. And you want to get rid of the hot spots and you want it glowing evenly from the inside out. I sometimes give it a little tug on each end. Not looking too bad. Right, how is that looking? That's looking pretty good to me. I've got that 60 watts. I don't care about uh, impurities and whatever else that people might say about. I couldn't give a fly monkeys. I get rid of whatever machine oils on it. And that is that. <sighs> right, so we'll let that cool down. And while we're doing that, we're gonna just come back up top and say hello again. Give it one minute to cool down. David Chuke, you absolute legend. You didn't need to do that, but he's just donated two pounds super chat. Uh, you absolute legend. Thank you very much, sir. Sorry I'm broke. I bought two more mods. <laughs> yeah, stop spending all your bloody money on mods. How old are your batteries in your mod? If they're tired, they can heat up a lot more than normal because of internal resistance. That's a good point, actually, Phil. Is it safe to come out? Not yet, Lisa. Wait till he's wicked. <laughs> you can come in now, darling. I've done the hard bit. I was saying that the wicking you would say is the hard bit. Right, how's everyone doing? I hope I haven't put anyone off, but basically that is getting your coil in there. And as you can see, it's quite an easy deck to build on. Post this deck and, yeah, just do what I did down there and you can't go wrong. Wicking is a little bit more tricky, but uh, we will get onto that very shortly. Is that cooled down? Anyway, <laughs> stop taking the piss, you bastards. Right. Let's go down and put some wick in this sucker and we can come back up top. All right, see you in a minute. Right, so there is our exquisite build that I've made. You, you see there, just by me tugging at the edges, we've got uh, a lovely space core there. Well, it's not too bad, anyway. This is going to be flavour central, I'll tell you, with these nature vape cores in it. So I'm using, I usually use Muji, to be honest, but I'm using a little bit of cheap cotton because I can't be asked to get the right amount. So this is Firebolt cotton. Should I give them a little bit of promotion? I actually, I think I paid for it. It might have been Hip Hop Juice who gave it to me, but I've got the three millimeter ones. It's uh, marked red, yellow, or blue. So three millimeter is yellow. So that's what we're going to do. Right, tug it on through. 
what I do is I normally put it right down to the other end. You don't need too much cotton at the ends, to be honest. That'll do. And just to make it look fancy, you can go back down the other way as well. What's up, Grant? It's all right, mate. I was fucking 40 minutes late as well, mate. Nice to see you. David, all good, Mike. I'm 95% there for paying off the car. It's sat earning interest. Uh, that's all right then, mate. Yeah, you you like to buy the finer things, uh, David. Most of the stuff you buy ends up being uh, ending up in more value, doesn't it? Get this sudden sod down to Bex. Oh, I I do. I'll get my glasses out if you want. Yeah, this is what I normally wear uh, to the desk. Hence, I don't like wearing them alike. God, that white balance is wrong, but um, fuck it. It's only going to take five more minutes. You can't really do much with a Logitech, to be honest. That'll have to do. Excuse me, guys. Right, so get your cotton. So I've pulled it right through on either side, just like that. Just to make life harder for myself. And then give that a little snip. I should really do this properly, shouldn't I? Right, I'm just going to snip it around about there. Because to do the first bit, you don't really need to worry. Who's that beauty? Yeah, do I look intelligent now? Well, not really. I work fucking long hours and can't drink most of the time. I've spent naught on booze for two years. Nice to see it, Cheeky. Right, this is the tricky bit, guys. Uh, and it pays to take time when you're wicking. If you notice there, I've got them quite short. Because look at these wicking holes there. You see that? You don't really want it rammed full of uh, cotton. Because I can vouch for experience. You literally want it just hanging in there so you can see the well. And then it will wick for 10 times better. So don't be surprised if you think I've done the wicks too short. Give it a good old rake out as well. Anyone who doesn't do this, it does help. Couldn't care what you say. Been doing this lots of years and know what I'm talking about. Right, so we'll get one side in first. Right, we on camera? Missing chat as ever. If that's too tough when you're putting it in, if you find that's too, it's Albert pushing it in, you really need to take it out again and trim it. Or rake it a bit more. Right, you notice there, that looked short as fuck, and it's still too long. So we're just going to give it a little pull. That's about perfect, because if you get, get your tweezers, light's a bit shit, get your tweezers just there, and make sure you've got a little bit of room in there. Right, the other side here, do these nice and short as well. Phew, I hope that ain't too short. What's going on here? The mods are my main vice. I know it's weird, isn't it, uh, David? Being having vaping as a, a hobby, like people think you're fucking mad. They think, why don't you just smoke? You end up spending less. Cheers for that. I am demo. Believe me, mate. I'm under a little bit of pressure here. But that firebolt cotton actually is really, really good actually. It's, if you're using Muji, you've got to rake it a little bit more. So I'd even say that slightly too long maybe. The other day I had to take some out after I'd been vaping it for a, a few hours because it was still too long. I think that's 
not too bad. I'll tell you what, I'm not fucking happy with that, it's too much. Still too much, guys. Anyone who complains of dry hits in RTAs, it's all about the wicking. You've got to learn how to wick. You don't need to know how to wick if you uh, vape on RDAs. Just shove it in there and chuck juice on top. But with this, you've got to rely on the capillary action. Right, it looks a bit of a, a bit shit, but you just see there we have got gap under there for that juice to flow. So let's get some juice on this bad boy. I don't get these big RTAs with tiny wicked ports. And it's not a tiny, to be honest, they're quite decent side. It's just you don't need to have the, the wicks very long. Right, anyone who's interested, this is Just Jam Liquid, but it's called Just Jamming. You can get it from e-liquid flavor concentrates. And I got this, they had 20% off. So I got, um, it makes 250 bottle shot. And I paid, I think it was eight quid per bottle. So it's 50 mil of uh, flavor concentrate and you get 250 mils of juice for eight quid. Plus your nicotine, if you're using Nick shots, another couple of quid plus um, your VG. But really, it, I've got 77.2% uh, 7 nicotine and I just chucked a bit of VG, my own VG in. So really, I've got this for less than a tenner for 250 mil of Just Jam. So do check out e-liquid flavor concentrates. I don't think they've got the 20% off at the moment, but you can get them for 9 99 if you want to have a look. And I'm not affiliated with them. I purchase everything on, on this channel, apart from when Nature Vape gives me stuff, because I will be reviewing his nests shortly. I've given up fucking reviewing everyone else's unless I buy it. Right, so get it nicely juiced up. Give it a little test fire. Right, that'll do. Hello, Kevin Yum from the States. I'll be back up top in a minute, mate. Right, I'm finding this hard because I can't see properly. Right, that doesn't look too bad, does it, for a live build? Look at those lovely quad core fuse we got in there. Right, get your tank. Little confirmation there. There's the two airflow holes at the top. We've got the two on the sides as well. Can't remember what ones they are, but it's one of those. And then it's the big ones there. Chuck them like this. Fucking can't get it on. Oh, right, there you go. And twiddle it up and you just see there we've got the cage that spins around but the inner chimney doesn't so you can line it up so you can have your QP show in or do it a little bit further it's up to you I like to have it just about like that right so that is the QP design juggernaut v2 cord and wicked up so as I say on my reviews after you put some e-liquid in let's go back up top Right, so as I said earlier, do it from the side, otherwise it'll piss down the middle if you've got a big bottle like this. This is strawberry, this one as well, by the way. 
three milligram. Don't overfill it. If you put if you put that right in the brim like I've done, this will fucking gurgle like a motherfucker. Oh god, I hope it doesn't, but it does sometimes. Cheers, Kevin. Yeah, they're from Nature Vape, mate. If anyone who wants to check them out, four core parallels naturevape.co.uk I don't get paid but he does give me some free calls so thank you very much right I'm just sorting the lighting out two seconds guys Yeah, the, the the V1 was a bitch to fill Rufus. So I've got it here, the V1. I haven't got the deck on, but... What's up, Sean Toop? How you doing, mate? The V1, you literally had to fill it sort of sideways through there, or unless you held it like that. But, uh, yeah, it's like the OBS engine and the engine Nano. They were a bit of a pain in the ass. I much prefer the top fill on this new one. This new one, the bayonet cap on it is a joy to use. Quarter of a turn, straight off. It's lovely jubbly. Right, have a quick toot in a minute. I don't need these glasses on anymore. I can see what we're doing. Right, we've got 52 watching in the house. Big love to everyone that has joined me recently. Anyone who's just been watching the build and that, hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. It obviously isn't perfect because under control conditions and doing it like I was, I couldn't really see shit because I've got blinding lights in my face and stuff like that. Excuses, excuses, mate. But yeah, we have got it in bubble tank mode. Because I believe it's six mil. I could be wrong. David Chu, can you confirm how much e-liquid it holds? I think it's six and four from memory. They never say on the box. Does my bloody nothing. Yeah, I did like the engine Nano though. I didn't have the engine. Yeah, it does, but it pays to leave a little bit of juice uh, free at the um, top, David. Because the air pressure will uh, fuck it up. I'm still using the Fatality Limited Edition. Not sure they get any better. Never bought another. I must admit, I, I use the Fatality M25 a lot and the 28. Thanks, Nicky. Cheers for that. Blinded by the light, yes, as the street said, mate. Right, we'll have a little toot in a sec, shall we? Right, so like I said earlier, there is a, a V2 batch of these. If you want to go to QP's website... But I think they've had a bit of problems with dispatching them. So I think they're still not, haven't been dispatched. So the only place I could find them really was in France. I think Scotland somewhere had them, but they sold out like instantly. And uh, the place I got it from was Le Petit Evapateur. And I paid 58 euros for it. So... Yes, it's more expensive than the run-of-the-mill tank, but I think it's bloody good. The way those threads and everything go together, the bayonet, I think it looks awesome as well on this Max. Right, let's give it a two. I might put it on the old Crime Hill in a minute.
Right, 80 watts, here we go. Airflow fully open. I think it is four mil and six, David. I'm sure I read it somewhere. But cheers for looking up. Any suggestions for an RDA or an RTA to go on a hog clone? Fatality 28, mate. Uh, Chuki would probably say a Voltrove. <laughs> but um, what other RTAs are there? Uh, to be honest, I've been using the M25 on my series mod, uh, dual 21700, and it, it's fine, even with the uh, airflow inserts in. Won't accept my phone number. You've got basically, Rufus, on that, you just take off the leading zero. Like, because I'm in the UK, you have to put 4-4 four, four, and then you don't put your zero on if you have one. You just put your seven and then your phone number and it worked. What's up, ABC? Are you sure you've, you're subscribed and you've clicked that notification bell? <laughs> we did have a little bit of a uh, meltdown earlier, Kieran, so I went live about 40 minutes late. But um, I think you can in Fast Tech, uh, Steve. Look it up in Fast Tech. You can't buy the original, though. That's what I mean. These are going to be like rockin' or shit as well, probably. That's why I got it. But anyway, let's have a few toots. Right, that is on fully open. And to be honest, I don't like reducing it because it, uh, it gets a little bit turbulent, in my opinion, when you reduce it. We'll put it down to halfway and it's a little bit restrictive as well. But I'll give you an airflow rating out of 10, with 10 being super wide open, one being like tight as a duck's ass. Yeah. Right, that is no more. It depends what size cores you got in. I've got two, three mils in there. I'd say that's a seven out of ten. Maybe seven and a half if you're lucky. But fully open, it's a semi-restrictive vape. So you've got to bear that one in mind. So I don't bother reducing it. But if you want to, I'll put it on half for you. All right. You just about see that up the top. And it just... Doesn't like it. Doesn't like it at eighty watts. Anyways, put it down to fifty-seven. It's a little bit better, but when you've got some quad-core uh, fused collapsums in there, you don't really want to. You want to be vaping it above eighty watts. So, if you want to use a couple of uh, collapsums or uh, fuse collapsums higher ohm, maybe 0.4 a core or something like that, you might be able to rock it down to sixty watts and close off that airflow hole. But like I say, I just find it becomes a little bit too turbulent. Well, not necessarily turbulent, but it's not bringing the flavour th through. Not with these calls anyway. But wide open. We're going to put it on the Crime Hilled mod now. Crank it up a little bit for you uh, wattage heads out there. Right, 0 0.09. It's reading them on the Crime Hilled and on the Aegis Max. Someone asked earlier what the um, Aegis Max went down to. I think it might be 0 0.06, but I could be mistaken. It might be 0 0.08. Right, let's put this up to 120. Right, here we are. 120 watts on the crime hill. Airflow fully open. Getting some nice clouds on this, but this one is definitely geared towards flavour. That's just knocked my socks off. 120 is fine. Let's put it up to 160. And it's still delivering. 
you can put that on a series mod if you wanted to. If you didn't, if you use a different build, you need to use a 0.3 or 0.4 or something. But it does work. You know, that's wicking like a champion. That's with it with the other drip tip on. But just see there, there were some bubbles going up. You can actually see my cotton there, but ideally you, you, that side's a bit better. You want those juice filling ports to be open so it wicks up better using the capillary action. If you've got them clogged full, you'll find that you're getting a slightly muted taste. Anyway, it pumps up um, quite nicely. You can vape this. Let's put it up to 200 watts. Here you go. It wicks. I like vaping it around 85, 80 to 90 watts myself, personally. But, yeah, cracking tank this one. Uh, I really do like it. We're getting absolutely no leaking from this. So just take it off the mod. Top of the tent, a little bit beaten up, but we haven't got any spots of juice, so it doesn't leak out the 510 or anything like that. <laughs> Phil Jones here, but I am as well, mate. I just put atties on and see if they fire or not. Yeah, so that is that is that guys. So the airflow, you can hear what it sounds like when you're vaping it around. Those sort of wattages, it is going to be a little bit loud. Here's it at 87. Nice and smooth. And and it delivers the flavour. Right, flavour with this one. I really like it. I really do like it. I'm not going to say it's the best flavour I've ever had, but it definitely is up there. This is a, a good 9 out of 10 for flavour. But it's one of the most enjoyable tanks I like to use because we don't get any leaking. Everything's put together really well. The build quality in this one is exceptional. Like airflow uh, control, nice bit of uh, restriction to it. It's not going to inadvertently open on you or anything like that. But I think they've done a, a bloody good job with this one. Uh, flavor's really good. Airflow's good. I don't if you. If you want to vape it at lower wattages, I don't think this is probably a tank for you because, like I say, it's a 28 millimeter one. To be honest, I haven't tried it in single core because I, I just don't think it's going to be uh, that great. I'm not sure if a uh, Chuki has, but I much prefer smaller tanks if I'm doing it in single core. But I'm going to put it back on the Aegis Max because I love using this. Yeah, it's not far behind it, but. It's a little bit different because we've got the airflow coming from the top to the bottom. I just think um, it's not not quite hitting the same as the bottom airflow tanks that come straight from the bottom. But it is 9 out of 10. I'm, this, this is the tank I'll carry on using because it doesn't leak. Other tanks I use, I get pools of juice underneath, which is a pain in the arse. So it is a really good tank. You try 5.5 and 6, yeah. To be honest, whenever I use single cores, I never get as much flavour. Yeah, so basically that is it, guys. 58 quid, I pay for it. I think they're sending them for, a, I'm not sure, $60, something like that on QP's website. The trouble is the shipping fee was about uh, 25 dollars or pounds i can't remember what it was uh, from canada they still might have them on there the second batch but i got this from france there's loads of shops in france uh, i think maybe germany have got them as well so if you want to uh, get them over there you can do it and if you use the le petit vapoteur they do free shipping if it's over 29 euros 90 and it took three days to get from cherbourg to the uk so not bad at all A dual six millimeters in the LE. Yeah, I'm, that's one tank I might uh, get next, in fact, David.
I'm vaping at 57 watts. No wonder it's tasting shit. I'd like to say anything over 80 watts, it's banging. Check the resistance of it. Yeah, it's still coming out at 0 0.09, this one. What's up, Salim? How are you doing? But anyway, guys, that is basically the review over. I really like it. Money well spent in my uh, book. I might carry on for another 20 minutes or so. If you want to have a little chat, I'll show you some other bits I've got on the channel coming up. Put it on the download section. Right, we got this little puppy here, the Gator 2-in-1 RT. It's been out for a long time now. There's my authentication card, 976. Right, this little one is... Basically, you can have mouth to lung and single core direct to lung. Compared to the Trilogy... I had problems in my trilogy, the fact that the um, the chimney got mangled on it. To be honest, I haven't done a comparison with it, but it's uh, definitely up there. Uh, I think the trilogy isn't as good as the fatality uh, for me. I think the blotto is really good as well. But the trilogy is good, but like I say, I, don't, I didn't like it because it's pissed me off. Because the uh, I mangled up my... AFC ring trying to get it off but anyway here's the Gator RTA here so this one you can it comes with two little airflow slots so you can use the open cyclops one if you want it in single coil direct to lung or if you want it in mouth to lung you have to use this one here which has got the three holes that you can use Got a little deck that this calls mangled. That's basically the deck for it. And, and it's got a little insert in there you can take out if you want to put it in uh, direct to lung. This is the mouth to lung tank. This is the direct to lung one, which has got a glass section. This one here has got like a Pyrex one, but the chimney does come off, I found the other day. I didn't think it did at first, but it does actually come off just like that but it's on th threads onto plastic, which is a bit shite. But anyway, that one will be getting reviewed sometime in the near future, along with the Aegis Max. Put the wrong one in there now. That's all right, Salim. Like I say, with all these tanks these days, they're a much of a muchness, to be honest. They... It's different. You know what I mean? You get... Um, like the Trilogy, yes, it's a really good tank, but uh, David in chat came up with a good idea in the Trilogy. If you want more airflow on it, Fiona Clark, big love for that. So really appreciate it. I can't get me um, heart up the right way. Thanks for the shout-out. Cheers. Uh, Kevin Yum, another donation. You lot are absolute legends. How do you do a heart? I'm just all over the place at the moment. Nice job. I know it's not much with exchange rate. I've been busy buying shit ton because of the PT PMTA. Oh, yes, yeah, that new uh, ruling that's coming in the States. Uh, I really do feel for you guys. But big thanks for the um, donation, Kevin. Really is appreciated. And you, Fiona. Thank you very much. Yeah, but like I was saying about the trilogy... If you you can take it apart and take off that airflow ring, so you can just have basically uh, air coming through without the the um, perforations. And I tried it on my series Overkill mod, which I've recently reviewed on the channel, and uh, yeah, it's really good. It works very well. So cheers for that, David, for the uh, recommendation. But if anyone wants to do it, I think you might need to take out the five ten pin to get it apart. But you can do it.
Yeah, so we've got the Gator coming in. We've obviously got the Aegis Max single 21700. That's going to get a review as well. And one other thing I've got here is the Pyro V3 by Vandy Vape. Now, I've had, they're not my favorite company, Vandy Vape, at all because, um, yeah, their customer service stinks. If you get a faulty tank, you're not going to get a replacement in a hurry. But this one is a very good uh, RDTA. Squonks as well. We got it on the top side carbon. And really, do, the flavor on this is tremendous. Yeah, all three screws on the bottom plate, wasn't it? What's going on with Steam Craven? Oh, you want a bit of juicy gossip, do you? But yeah, we've got some more bits. I've taken a week off work, so we should get some more reviewers out next week. I will get on the Steam Craven in a second. Basically, it's just something that's personally happened to me. Exactly, David. <laughs> Yeah, so what it is, with Steam Crave, like, like I said, I did a live review in the, the forest the other day, and I basically said on there that the the only products I'm going to review on the channel are ones that I purchase uh, myself from now on. There's a few reasons for it, but um, there's a few things that have gone on that just upset me a little bit and pissed me off, so... For one reason or another, I've just decided to purchase my own stuff and review what I actually want to review on the channel. An exception will be for Mark at Nature Debate because he's got a brand new RDA called The Nest, which is coming out soon. And I like Mark and I like the look of the RDA. So I said, yep, send it over. I'll review it for you. But anyway, going on to my little story. Basically, uh, I start the channel out coming up three years at the end of October so two years two and three uh two and two thirds years something like that two and three quarter years and uh, at first I used to buy all my stuff all my loads of clones stuff like that reviewed them up uh went on YouTube saw what was not coming up uh not on other people's channels I thought right I'll just buy this this and this and try and get it out there get my name out there and get lots of views which worked very well then I eventually started getting sent some stuff, which is all very nice, and I'm very appreciative of it. Um, but I was, in the end, I started getting a little bit too, too much stuff being sent through. And if it was RTAs, RDAs, and dual battery mods, I'd be like still happy and passionate about it. But the trouble was, I was getting lots of uh, pod devices through, which um, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, I did a start kit the other day, the uh, Nautilus GT kit, because I like the look of it and I reviewed it and I purchased it. But I was getting like sent lots of stuff and I had a big backlog I've got work full time and everything as well and it was just stressing me out and I was thinking when am I going to fit all this in so um I just thought right no basically I thought I'm just gonna knock it on the head stop I emailed all the vendors that send me stuff and I said uh, please don't send me anything uh, because I don't uh, want to review your stuff anymore unless I want it and go out and buy it uh, that's just my own personal feelings. It's uh, no malice uh, really with anyone there, uh, but it was just the fact that I was just, just didn't have time, and it was doing my head in. I was actually not enjoying reviewing because of it. But like I say, recently I've gone out and bought these bits. I've got the other bits I've got because I like the look of them. So I've gone out and bought them, and I'm going to review them. They might not be the next best thing out in the market, but um, yeah, that's just the decision I've made, and I feel a lot happier about it right getting on to steam crate right i am um, the past year or so i've uh, been been sent stuff from them we've had the glass mini the glass v2 uh maromizer plus plus v2 ragnar uh fucking hadron mod all of that and um Basically, I reviewed for them, spent a lot of time reviewing for them, posted them on the channel, got them a hell of a lot of views. And, um, yeah, the, long story short, basically, I joined their group, a uh, Facebook group, a couple of months ago. And basically, two reasons. I thought, 
if I'm reviewing their products, I'm in a group full of Steam Crave fans, uh, may as well join their group because they're going to want to see what the products are like and maybe it might get me a few views for the channel. So that was the two reasons for it. Anyway, so I go on there and it I was only on there a few weeks, it seemed. And then I um, basically got blocked from the, the group. For, for no warning, no message or anything. I just, I looked at, on Steam Crave, tried to find the fan, clays, uh, fan cl- club uh, fucking group, whatever it's called. Because uh, I was thinking, why am I not getting any posts from Steam Crave anymore? And I searched for it and I couldn't even find it. And basically that means that they blocked you from their group. Because if you can't find something, it means you've been uh, blocked. So you can't gain access even in a search bar. So what happened was I I, um, I found out on the grapevine. I'm not going to name any names here. But I found out that the, the reason was that... Uh, uh, Maggie, the owner uh, of Stingrave or the owner of the sales or whatever, she blocked me because she didn't like the fact that um, I took the piss on one of the posts. Because what it was, someone had put something like, uh, when I smoke this corn, I, I, I get a uh, gurgling sensation or something like that. And all I said was, you're not supposed to, not supposed to smoke it. And... Uh, apparently that is the reason why I got blocked because she said I was uh, ridiculing social cultural differences or something like that uh fuck knows but to me that sounds like snowflakeness gone out of control literally I was just having a laugh saying you're not supposed to smoke it and um that was that anyway so I posted a post up on the Facebook page saying right that's it it really pissed me off because I thought I spend all this time reviewing for you and you go out and uh block me from your group so I can't even advertise the reviews that I've done for you so I posted a post saying you know no warning no message or anything but anyway so she comes back to me and she did say oh ever so sorry about that you can rejoin the group again it must have been Facebook because it was a vape related post and they obviously banned you because it was to do with vaping which is obviously a load of fucking horseshit because why isn't everyone else's post on their band and I know it is bullshit because uh, like I say I found out that I had been blocked on the grapevine so I don't appreciate being lied to and uh, I can't believe the petty nature that actually fucking happened, uh, to be honest. So basically, I thought, fuck you, Steam Crave. And I've just taken all Steam Crave reviews off my channel. If you don't like that and you don't understand why I've done it, then that's up to you. But the, the reasons being, I've spent a lot of time reviewing this stuff and I just don't like the way I've been treated. And uh, that is that. So, yeah, you won't find me bigging up Steam Crave anymore. I've heard... Um, uh, companies out there haven't been treated very well as well. There's been uh, allegations of uh, price fixing where companies, if they were sen- uh, selling the product too low, they were being told that they must put the prices up because they're selling it too low. There's also other ones that have said they've been copying their ideas, I do believe. And uh, so, that, yeah, they might not be as rosy as y- you might think. But uh, anyway, that is the Steam Crave uh, uh drama but it's no skin off my nose like i say i'm happy buying the stuff that i want to buy but uh, i probably won't be buying any steam crave in the near future but it's a good job there's tanks out like the juggernaut v2 and the fatality m25 zeus x there's fucking loads of tanks out there which uh, uh rival it anyway but i must admit i do like the uh uh, Aromizer Plus V2 a lot it is a very good tank but like I say I just don't like being treated like a mug so um, yeah they made their bed so fuck them I don't expect they'll mind if I'm not reviewing they've probably got plenty of others out there so that is that and that is the story with that yeah so I don't know what you think about that in chat but I'm sorry but you know, I'm not being treated like a, a cunt, so that is it. I pulled them up over Price and Expo. They offered me free shit, which I turned down, and their duck, dick riders called me a free shit hunter. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, you know me, David. I, I don't... I'm not in this for free shit. I never have been. Yes, it was nice to get items that were so-called free, but by the time you've put the effort into reviewing them all the rest, you've more than made up the time by the amount of hours you put into it anyway. 
I do this channel because I enjoy what I do. When I do like reviews like tonight, it's a tank that excites me. I like a top airflow tank that doesn't leak. We got a little bit of a different build net where we got that bottom and side airflow going on. A little bit different, bare net, top caps, lovely jubbly. There's lots of other tanks. I like the top side as well. Bit of innovation going on. The Pyro V3 I like because uh, uh, I haven't had an RTDTA for a while. And it's got a squonk pin, so you can squonk with it. Yet again, it's something different, so it's going to get a review from me. Uh, I've just had it up to fucking here with pods, and uh, you won't find me buying a pod or reviewing it on the channel anymore. I'll leave that to other reviewers. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I know they're good for... Kick, uh, getting people off the stinkies but I've just had enough of them myself love <laughs> Brit's usage of see you next Tuesday uh, sorry Kevin it's probably the most offensive word that we can think of over here but only three thing I've had is the plus V2 offshore and a gift from Alan and Fiona yeah, David, well, you're like me. You like to buy things, don't you? You like you're a bit of a wheeler D the day, even, yeah? You buy things and sell them on again. I say, I don't mind. I go to work. That's why I go to work, so I can buy shit, you know? And that's I like to buy shit, review it, and, uh, yeah. I, you always get an honest review out of me, even if I've bought it or not. If uh, anyone's been following the channel over the last two and a half years, you'll realise that I don't give a shit who you are. If it's shit, I'll say it's shit. <laughs> nice one, Kip. Nicky, it's a cracking setup, this, isn't it? A bit more wattage, actually. I might put it up to 100. Yeah, so if anyone else is in chat, you want to ask me a few more questions, we'll probably do another 10 minutes or so. Oh, Bear, nice to see you in the house, mate. Balls are still on my guys. Not really, mate. I just don't like being like taken for a fucker. Cheers, Steve. Appreciate that, mate. This is a banger. Pyro V3. I think I paid 21 quid for it. You can pick them up for less than that. Even if you don't get the review. The only downside is I have found leaking underneath here. If you're, if you're not using it on the squonker, on the squonker it doesn't matter, does it? You just wipe it down. But on regular mode, I was finding it leaking out the 510, which uh, that's what happened to my Kylin v, V1, I think. So And the V2 for that matter. Oh, Bear, like I said, mate, I like to buy my own stuff anyway. I uh, really like that in direct to long. To be honest, um, Old Bear, everyone else out there, I'm, uh, uh, I like to just get what I buy. I don't like to take uh, shit off people, to be honest. That's why I haven't got a Patreon or anything. I buy stuff, I review it. I don't really like accepting uh, stuff off people. Yeah, the vendors was a different thing, but... I'm quite happy to go out and buy it and it's no, uh, you know, nothing against anybody. That's just the way I am. And I don't really do second-hand stuff because I'm a bit OCD about it. No worries with the caps, mate. Crack on. I fucking had a good rent. You, you crack on, mate. Yeah, the Gator, like I say, it's another QP thing. Uh, you pay the money, you takes your choice. I think I paid forty-one pounds from uh, forty-one euros from France, and you get the Mountain and the Direct Lung. Uh, direct Lung's a little bit better, to be honest. Yeah, Rufus. To be honest, I haven't bought much more. I bought the Kylin V2. That, that was the last thing I bought from them. Yeah, but I appreciate the offer, offer the old bear. That uh, yeah, I've just set my ways, mate. I just do what I do. Yes, uh, Ricky, yeah, I tightened up the 510. Uh, like I say, I've been vaping for seven years, mate. I know all the tricks. Uh, 
Tried the 510, took it all apart, put the O-rings off and back on again. I even changed uh, one of them and uh, tightened up that 510 pin really tight. And it was still coming out of the bottom, but I will have to have, have another go um, with that because, like I say, it is really good on the top side. But on the regular mod, I was finding I was getting it away with my Tree of Life box mods, which was a little bit annoying. AVC, another vape channel. He's another good reviewer, guys. He's just recently got a uh, thousand subs. Uh, so big love to Kieran on the, the channel. And he's just said he's got 12 reviews to do, 10 are his own stuff. Always better to review the things you want. Yeah, Kieran's a little bit on my wavelength there, I think. I don't think he likes just any old shit being sent to him. Not saying that it's shit, but for me, it's stuff that I don't want. That's what I mean by shit. Yeah, that's a good point, Rufus. Buying your own stuff is more in line with real consumers than how often we buy it. Indeed, Phil. Uh, and when I see lots of these other reviewers, even the big uh, time reviewers, and I look on their channels and they're pod, 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 there might be the odd RTA. And I'm thinking, fuck me, aren't you bored of that yet? And uh, yes, I know they're doing it. The difference is they're doing it for a living. They're making money out of it, which is fair enough. But for me, this is part time. I can only do this when I take days off work or at the weekend. So it's um, yeah, it's got to be it's got to be interesting uh, for me. I've done a, a lot of pod kids on there. One I recommend is Narada Pro with the RBA kit. I wish I reviewed the wife before I got <laughs> new Vupu Twin eighteen six fifty mod. Let's see. That's not one of those ones with a pod on top, though, is it, Dave? Cloudy bugger, yeah, it is. Yeah, it certainly is cloudy, this one. It's basically like an RDA, isn't it? Because what what I would have liked, so instead of having this tank on there, you might as well just have this top bit and put it down here and have it as a squonking RDA. Ha, <laughs> Oh, what, David, it hasn't, well, it's not got a pod. No, but the thing is, I've been seeing a lot of them have got dual batteries with a pod on top. Are you on about the Argus? Argus GT, yeah, that does look pretty cool. It's a bit like the older Aegis Legend, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I do like the look of that. And that is one that I was tempted to buy. Thing is, I've just bought the, the Max and I've got the Aegis X. So, yeah, I can't buy everything, David. But, uh, yeah, it is one that's on my radar. I might get that one when it comes down in price a little bit. So, saying that is quite cheap anyway. So, coming up another five minutes or so, guys, four or five minutes. So, anything else you want to ask me, crack on. Anyone that's just joined in, the review has been done. I really like this a lot. Got a nine out of ten for flavour, cracking jaw, and it doesn't leak. And the build quality is superb. And I really enjoy vaping on it. So, that is basically the uh, Juggernaut V2, a very good tank indeed. Uh, it's, I haven't really compared with, with the um, old one. This one's a lot more restrictive and the grub screws are really crap on the clone version I had. So I much prefer using the new V2 one. And you get more airflow as well, so you can do more wattage. Yeah, the gene chip. I do have um, one Vupu mod, the Alpha Zip, which not many people have gone on about, but I picked up for about 30 quid, nice little mod. 
To be honest, I like the Aegis chips as well, though, uh, Dave. They hit really quick and the battery life's good. Best dual 21700 mod to fit the Ragnar. Uh, I'm not going to say the Hadron. <laughs> that is a good point. You're going to be pushed to find one that actually fits it. My um, Overkill Mods dual series mod fits it. And uh, that's about it that I own, to be honest. Because it's 35 millimeters the Ragnar. So it's a bit of a stupid, uh, stupid size, to be honest. Unless you're really into it. David's the one to ask because he really likes his Voltrobes and they do 35s. Yes, yeah, the only one you said as well, mate. But the thing is with a Hadron, it's like a, a brick and and it's made by Steam Crave. <laughs> but it is all right, but it's not very comfortable in the hand, but it does hit very well. Not sure about battery life, though. You can use something like the Crime Hell, but you're going to get a little bit of overhang because that one fits 30s perfectly. This um, Aegis Max, that's got a 28 on it, so you could probably fit a 31, 32 on it. It's only a single 21700 though. Oh yeah, the Lacimo. That was that quad cell one, wasn't it, Dave? Yeah, I'm trying to think of um, Center 510 ones. My Wild Wolf uh, is Center 510, but you're going to have a little bit of overhang on either side. But that's a nice dual 18650. Still going strong after a year and a half. I've had that one. Yeah. The... I haven't got any battery rattle with my one, to be honest, Phil. Box of Jewel 21700 takes a 30, all right? Don't have a 35, might fit. Yeah, there's few and far between. Like I say, my overkill mods, if you want to get yourself a series or a parallel uh, a MOSFET mechanical mod, then they do fit. I haven't got one out here to show you. But... Hang on, have I missed the question from Peter Kendall? Anyone who's watching, I have missed the question. I do apologise. Uh, Lynn, Mike, the heavy hitter is a good mech for the price. Yeah, I have seen that, uh, Lynn. And that one takes a 28 as well, uh, I've been led to believe. I might have to look into that. Say it again. I probably have missed some people's comments. Uh, don't take it personally. I've just missed it because I'm rabbiting on. Phil Jones, the Vupu has a screw on the pod tank so you can throw it and keep the mod. Oh, that's so nice to see. Can't see Peter Kendall in here. Loose MTRTA recommendations. Um, now that's the one. This is one of my favourites at the moment, the Ares V2. And it's actually quite restrictive, but I think you can do loose on it. Let's have a go. Fucking love it. This is underrated. People aren't reviewing it and pe people are missing out. I paid $20 for it. It's perfect. AVC, have you not got yourself a um, Aries yet? Aries 2. I never had the V1, by the way. I've heard that that was not that great, but this one is really good. Just put it on. You can have it with all the holes open. Just try that. Really nice. Nice and loose. Peter Kendall, check out my review for this because it is really a good cheap uh, tank. Aries V2, mate. And like I just showed you there, it does do loose mouth and lump.
Lynn, what's the V2 LE then? I haven't seen that one. I've got the 22 here and I've got the 24 back out there in black, but they're cracking flavour. Listen to it. Just pops. So if you haven't got one in uh, ABC, I suggest you get one, mate. Glass Mini is a good RTA. I'm not going to deny it is. I just uh, don't like using it anymore. <laughs> What do you think of it then, ABC? I will check out the review later, of course. I think it gives really good flavour. You might want to check out ABC's review, though. So if he doesn't like it, you know, that's what I mean. Reviewers are just individuals. Oh, Vupu X217 Jewel, Fiona's saying. Yeah, that's um, that's probably like this Aegis X, isn't it? I'm not sure if it's going to, or the Aegis Max. This one will fit more, a 31, I think, 32 maybe. All right, you put one up today. What's the LE stand for? Ah, right. Limited edition, less branded on the chimney, no nerd on the base. I actually like the knurling on the base. It means you can undo it nicely. But um, it probably doesn't look the best. I just think it's got really good flavour. No doubt about it. It's one of my best for flavour. Yeah, the brand in this off and Maybe that LE. The trouble is with the LE one, I expect it's going to be double the price, is it? Yeah, to be honest, uh, Kieran, the way I reviewed it was on flavour and performance. Uh, I must admit, when I used the um, 24, I used the black version and I put the um, frosted black glass on so it covers up the branding. But you can't knock it for performance. Yeah, they did go a bit overkill on it. If you can just see here, you've got Aries V2 on that side. And on this side, you've got like platform and a load of other writing going on. Hooked on Funk. Cheers, brother. How you doing? I was going off air five minutes ago, but I've cracked open another beer. So you might get another 10 minutes out of me, if you're lucky. Give me some questions, guys. It's chewy shit. Chewy whatever. Yeah, flavour and build is great. I'm glad you said that because you're a mouth to lung fan. Anything else you want to ask me? You've got 10 minutes to ask. I must admit though, Kieran, if it, if it just didn't have that branding on it, it would look awesome. So I'm glad that you've said there's an LE version because I probably will go out and buy it. couple of other bits here I've got actually we've got the Dan Vape Diamonds which I have had about a couple of months 
picked it up for about 14 quid. I think you can get them for a tenner on Eastwick one, but I'm not sure anymore. But pretty good flavour out of this, actually. Well, banging flavour. But um, I've heard people saying that they get leaks. I didn't get any leaks, but I just haven't got round to reviewing it. But for that money, I think it's really good. Let's just show you a little bit more. Not a bad one at all. It's just got a bit of a funny airflow control because you have to basically put your screw in from the uh, side. All right, the BP Mods one. Uh, worth getting in, Kieran, yeah? That, that white trip tip put me off on that one. Here's the other one, the Cosmonaut V2 layer cake. Pick, pick this up one for a tenner from Custom Vapes UK. Now, this is an RDA, guys. So, let's see if I can get it undone. <laughs> What's up, Ross Vegas? How you doing, buddy? Which older mods and tanks drippers do you still use? I'll get on to that in a second. This is the, um, the Cosmonaut V2. And I might do a review of this because it's bloody good, in fact. Here it is here, District 5. I paid £9.99 for this. And you just see there, we got like a... I think that might be a zirconia sort of a insulator there. But flavour out of this is absolutely banging. Just look inside the top cap there. We've got... Uh, Adjustable airflow somewhere. I can't fucking remember how to do it. I got that on the wrong. I think I might have that on the wrong way round, you know. That's better. Yeah, we do have adjustable airflow on this, just like that. But yeah, for, if you want an RDA, this is normally about 50 quid. Custom Vapes did have it for £9.99. It's a fucking flavour banger. If you like your, a little bit of cloud chucking. A really nice one. Right, what was that question that I haven't answered? Um... What older mods and tanks drippers? I've got most of my mods and tanks and drippers are perfectly good, even like the old clones and that. Like recently, I had the uh, Tesla Y original one, which I reviewed, one of the first reviews on the channel, uh, Phil. I think it's a 200 watt mod. Uh, some people complain about it. Uh, it has got funny reading the battery saying it's got 30% left and then it suddenly go dead, but it still works a treat. Um, I use my Wild Wolf quite often. I use my uh, Asmodus Colossal single 18650 mod. Uh, tanks, I use my Troll RTA, uh, original Troll RTA banger. Uh, OBS Engine Nano single cord RTA, I use quite regularly. And uh, well, so Lost Vape drone still works. I must admit, I don't use it in squonk mode very often, but I, it's got a really good ohm read on it. But I tend to use the carbon more these days, which has got a Yee Heat chip. But lots of the uh, clones that I've got on the channel, like the Supersonic, uh, Radius, uh, Skyfall, Con Le Concorde, uh, Devore, Mouta Lung, I use all of those, I do use. Not very often, but I still chuck a building them now and again, and they are holding their own. They're fucking really good uh, tanks and that. So that's the good thing. Being a reviewer, you pick up so much stuff. I can literally have a different tank for each day of the month and a different mod for each day of the month. So, um, yeah, I don't get bored when I'm vaping. If I had another something, just get something else out. Um, yeah, loads of tanks I've got. Um, what else have I had recently? Yeah, the Diamonds and MTL grant. Yeah, small cores, David, on the uh, the uh, layer cake. The Cosmonaut V2 is the layer cake. But for 
10 quid basically for this little puppy the flavor is absolutely bang but like david said if you use three millimeters i, I put it on my um series mod i put a couple of 10 wraps in there david three three point fives or three millimeters the fucking thing like burnt my lip it got so hot so you do want to use 2.5s on it yeah it's probably best for squonking dare i say it forgot the drip tip it comes with uh mike oh what yeah i mentioned that on my review kieran i don't know if you've seen it but this one's all right but on the original uh, the original black one, it's got a stopper in it, so you can't open it unless you take the drip tip out, which is a bit shit. That's on the Ares V2. The V2 hasn't got one either by the looks of it. Still using Love the True. I haven't got the True Tower. I gave it away. Probably um, I shouldn't have done because um, at the time I wasn't into really restricted mouth or lung, but I reckon I'd like it again now. Yeah, the Tesla Y, I still use the 85. Yeah, I didn't get the 85, but I got the Tesla 200 because it's a nice sort of square mod that isn't going to fall over and it's light as fuck. Did I ever have, have a Sherman? No, that's another one that I didn't have, David. And I nearly bought the a, a clone the other day off Project Vapes. Uh, never had it, mate, but I reckon I'd like that on a bit of a series mod. No, the, the Concorde was just like um, a, a normal single coiler. Rufus, uh, just like the Skyfall, the um, loads of them. If you look at the earlier reviews of my channel, I did loads of them, mate. They're all single core, basically one leg, one way, one the other, most of them. Really banging, though. The Concorde is probably one of my favourite single core, little stubby little single coilers. The Gopher Vape, yep, yeah, that is still on the go. The thing with the Gopher Vape, uh, Neil, sub Ohm Silver in chat, guys. He does written reviews on Issa Click if you want to check him out. The Gopher Vape, the only tank I've got is the pearlescent rainbow one because the, the main tank that came with it broke. So now all I've got is like a black tank with a fucking rainbow glass and it it looks a bit shit, but the flavour on that is absolutely tremendous. Probably my favourite single core RTA, to be honest. And I do use it. I've just, I've gone off it because I don't like looking at it, Neil. I need to get some mods. My reviews seem to be mainly RTAs. Yeah, that's the problem, uh, Kieran. Mods cost a little bit more money, don't they? If you notice on my channel, there's more RTAs than mods as well. Yeah, they do a 25 and a 28, I believe, Dave, as well, don't they, on the old Sherman. Aeronaut did vertical cool, I'll tell you. Can't remember what it was called. Remember having a clone of it? Uh, I've only got a couple of vertical cores. I've got the, um, what's it called? The Umie one, VLS, dual call RDA. That was banging, that was. And... Uh, what was the other one? The uh, Gopher Vape one. The uh, Eternal, I think it was called. That was pretty good as well. Gay! <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to get one, Dave. Spe especially because I do miss my series because I put it in the drawer for a bit. It's like they're screaming at me saying, come and play with me again, Mike. You know you like having 300 watts in your car. <laughs> Reverie, I had that one as well. Yeah. That was all right, but um, I never reviewed that on the channel. I didn't like the, the top cap on that reverie. Reminded me of um, that Japanese bloke on James Bond. You know, the one that f flings the hat. <laughs> I think it was Japanese. It might have been some other oriental nation. I have the full aeronaut range. Fully re reliable bloke. I think the things are reasonably priced. I've never had an aeronaut, mate. Is that high end we're talking here, yeah? The nightmare, yeah. That's the um is that I was looking at them the other day, Dave. Is that isn't that just like the Valhalla? What's the difference between that? Odd job, that's it at least, yeah. <laughs> it does look like op job, mate. Yeah, fucking I'm gonna get a picture and try and put it up. Just bear with me, guys.
Just crack on. I'm just uh, just finding things. <laughs> oh man, cracks me up. I can't see chat at the moment. I'm busy. I'll, I'll try and get these images up for you. Carry on talking amongst yourself a minute. This is probably mate and R. Okay, I can't remember where I just saved it. Where is it? Yeah, right, that's odd job there. If anyone gets queer with this, this is called, this is what banter is called as well. Just, just a little bit of a joke. Just how I see things. That is what it reminded me of for some reason. <laughs> no, I don't know what anyone else thinks in there, but uh, it just cracked me up. I just remember watching those James Bond films. Uh, it just used to crap me up, man. Who's Cato? I can't remember Cato. Was that knickknack? Knickknack. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's probably just the uh, the Thatchers, David. Yeah, anyway, we'll take them off there now. I'm only having a laugh. Wrong one. Is it just me who thought that then, or? Did Anyone else think that? Kato Pink Panther. Good now, you're making me search now. Aren't you? I used to watch Pink Panther, but I'm so old, I've forgotten. My brain cells have depleted since I was younger. Yeah, but he doesn't look like the fucking reverie, though, does he, Neil? <laughs> the Green Hornet or the Pink Panther. Just me, is it, Rufus? All right, okay. All right, we got my Greek friend, and you have to speak English, mate, because I can't understand you. But nice to see you in chat. Put it into Google Translate first, so then everyone in uh, chat will be able to understand. Blue is... <laughs> Anyway, I've gone well past my fucking quarter past ten check off here, haven't I? This is all just banter. If anyone's reading the comments thinking this is racist, then uh, do one. Uh, I must admit, though, sub home, that one is a little bit close to the mark, even for me, mate. You're not allowed to say anything these days, remember? I have to get rid of that. It's 
It's all that extra drinking time while you build the RT. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Neil, apologies for that, mate, but I don't want to have things that people can construe as being racist on the channel. Stay on, mate. I don't know what Lisa thinks. She's out in the other room. You can come in here, Lisa, if you want. Keep me company. Does everyone want to see Lise? She can come on the stream. Put an X1 in chat. Yeah, sorry, Neil, but, you know, you know what it is, mate. You can't put anything in writing. Have you seen the Rage RDA, mate? Build deck looks interesting. Only 16 quid on faster. No, that's one I haven't seen, actually, Nicky. You've got me interested. Let's have a look. Rage RTA. <laughs> I knew you'd all put the X ones in. You're so fucking transparent, you, you vapors. It just shows how many females we have watching, doesn't it? Come on, Lise, you've been summoned. I'll tell you what we're going to do then. All right, we'll carry it on for a little bit longer. I'm just going to put it... I'm going to go for a wee-wee, all right? And I'll see you in a second. Anyone there? Right, we are back. Creepy stalker music. Is that what I don't that doesn't make me think of that at all, mate. It makes me think of a bit of dark fucking drum and bass type thing. Slowed down. I used to like my uh, techno, I used to do my own stuff in the nineties, by the way, guys. That's why I like my uh, electronic music. I used to do my own compositions on keyboards and sequences. Hence I like a little bit of uh, quirky stuff. I'm not into cheesy music. 
Anyway, Lisa did say she'll come on, but now she, obviously she's got to sort herself out, so she'll be out in about five minutes because I put her on the spot. Cheers, Neil. I can't believe that. I thought I had another side. I've only got this one here. I might have to put the old um, ghost on a minute. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Muted, well on. Yes, indeed, Kieran. I'll say it again then. Oh no, I said, Do you want to come on for five minutes? This is like, oh, fuck. Anyway, anyone who's just tuned in, we got the review of the Juggernaut V2 here. Banging RTA. This just jammy strawberry. <laughs> This stuff here, anyone who likes Just Jam, get yourself some of this from E-Liquid Flavor Concentrates. You get 50 mil concentrate in it, which brings up the 250 mil if you put your own Nick and uh, VG in it. Um, I paid eight quid for the bottle, absolute bargain. And it tastes just like Just Jam. I think they've actually gone in a partnership with them to do it, but it's called Just Jammy. But uh, lovely jubbly. Yeah, mic drop. <sighs> mic, 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 mic. <sighs> Fuck off with the echo jokes, Peter. Yeah, I, I, oh man, this is, this is giving me some flavour now. That cotton is soaking in very well. <laughs> Who's that Ian? Is he there then, Fee? Why aren't he saying hello? How long is a steep? Uh, what, on, on this stuff? You run out of juice. I had it steep for about four days, mate, and I'm vaping on it. Sounds all right. Do you want a chair? No, I'm fine. Honestly, I'm fine. Uh, you kind of look stupid you sitting down there like that. <laughs> it doesn't look fine. <laughs> it's 
I'm Go com- get the chair. I don't now. want the chair. I'm comfortable in here. Right, anyone who don't know, this is my lovely wife, Lisa. Hello. How long have we been married, darling? Um, um, um nine, eight, nine years. Eight years. Eight years, isn't yeah. it? We've been together now, isn't it? Yeah. Move that lot off there. Hiya. Yeah, we got some... T- Got some tot in the house. No, it's only me. <laughs> Geeking out on PlayStation. He never Hi, says hello on my live streams, does he, Fiona? Tell him to sort out. Just say hello, at least. I get you thinking, my while you're down there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my thinking. I've got a chair up there. Why don't you go and get a chair? Oh, I'm all right. Anyone who's tuned into the Juggernaut V2 review and they're going to see this, they're going to be like, what the fuck? Joseph said hello. hello. Did you say hello to me, Joseph? I don't think you did, did you? Bloody hell, it just shows you, doesn't it? They all come out of the woodwork now. Oh, well, hi. Hi, Lisa. PSC Milm. I don't like to give too much away, mate, but that sort of area, yeah. You never know what um, people might be watching that might want to do things to you. So get him told. Cheers, feet. Say hi from us anyway. Tell them they can come in if they want some water or something. But they're fine. We're just going to yeah. let them out for a walk. Door open. Hi, Kieran. Hi, Lynn. Right, so what are you all talking about then? We're not talking about anything, are we? I was just wrapping up the review and now I've been on here about three hours probably. Yes, Kieran, I've moved to the dark side. I knew this would be a bad idea. Go and do a live review and end up being on here for three hours. I lived in Limington for years, that's all. I recognise some... Where in one of your vids. Oh, right. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, it's a lovely area. Uh, to be honest, I I was born in London, uh, Middlesex, and moved down to Dorset in uh, Wareham, basically, for most of my life. And now I've moved over to uh, Hampshire. But yeah, I know all this area very well indeed. And uh, Lisa's from Crystal Palace and... Uh, Thanks, used, to, used to live in Hemel and now she lives down here as well. But like I say, I'm not giving out where I live uh, live on YouTube. No, I um, changed from the blonde to the dark because I'm grown old gracefully, as they say. The blonde, uh, the dark looks better anyway. I much prefer natural look, like my natural grey. <laughs> I, I want to get it shaved off again, to be honest. It does suit her, doesn't it, Fee? It's much better. <laughs> my wife goes from brown to one shade darker brown god knows what oh yeah. us women in our hair you know I, what it's like I just let it go highlighted naturally uh, a grotty end of middle sex mate haze haze end don't get me started I'll start saying things I shouldn't say anyway it was nice to move down south put it that way what other jobs did I have? Uh, I've done lots of things. Manual work all through my 20s. Bin man, litter picker. No trigger jokes, please. Um, I've had the same room for 20 years. I did a music diploma in my um, when I was 21 for two years. Just a bit of a stopgap, basically. I learned quite a lot with that. And then I did uh, removals for about three and a half, Thanks, four Karen. years. So I used to be a removal man doing shop deliveries for a, a department store. So fucking now that's how I 
did my back in and everything but uh, it was really good there the banter you had at work it was just, that's what i mean they talk about like all this shit that goes on these days the fucking banter we used to have as a, right. in a manual environment it was um brilliant i uh, felt them. i've got cousins who came from felton by um heathrow airport who's in felton grant Who was asking me where I was from? Now oh, Grant was. Yeah, I, to be honest, mate, I was only six when we moved down here, so I don't really know Middlesex that well. Heard you were a demon in a van. <laughs> I must admit, um, David, I did have a few... Uh, I had a few scrapes, put it that way. Uh, most of my mates did as well. Like taking tops off vans, the sides off, going past railings. Yeah, you end up driving like an absolute nutter being a delivery driver. <laughs> That's it, Kieran, yeah. <laughs> I've had the same broom for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So we do show our age, don't we, Kieran, eh? Bloody How's hell. the bacon been going? Always looks delicious, mate. I must admit, I've since this hot weather, Shane, I haven't baked a thing. Uh, but yeah, I was looking at some of my Instagram photos over there. It did look pretty good, actually. There's some real nice ones, isn't there? Mm. That rocky road was good and uh, lemon drizzle. Oh, lamp post. I did do one lamp post, Dave. I was I was basically in Paul Birdsill Way. Went up on the pavement as you do. Did the delivery. Came back in and um, reversed back a little bit and took a fucking lamp post down because I didn't see it because you can't see it in your mirrors. The trouble is, you don't always have a driver's mate to see you back, so you have to just trust your mirrors. Uh, yeah, another time I took a telegraph pole out of the ground because I mounted the curb whilst reading the map and um, took it about 50 metres down the road. Uh, needless to say, I was taken off driving duties and went as a, a porter uh, after that one. But yeah, my mate took the top of the van off, the seven and a half tonner, going under a low bridge. Uh, he also went into a ditch, uh, going too fast on the road to Burton Bradstock near Weymouth. And he had to get a rescue person out to get him. I work in Christchurch, Jay. Yeah, but we don't live there, though, do we? No, I said I work there. Yeah. My commute. To work. <laughs> <laughs> it's down south, isn't it? Mm. South Sea. Yeah, I used Portsmouth. to deliver down that way. Is that Portsmouth? Yeah, yeah. it's that sort of way, isn't it? Mm. Portsmouth, um, Portchester, uh, South Sea's further on, isn't it? Think. Oh, I, I don't mind Christchurch, Jay. It's nice. I live. I work there. I work in Christchurch. I live there. You just said then. No, I said I don't. I didn't say I live there. I said I work there. We don't live in Christchurch. Don't talk about where people live because after TVP getting his fucking cars done in, I don't want people to know where I live. I'm sorry about that, but uh, do you know what I mean? The fucking shit that that bloke has had to deal with because of people is just not on. So let's just not talk about where people live. Fucking southerners. Yeah, you what you are Midlanders, Dave, aren't you? Don't get me in Fucking Born and bred in East London, now live in West Midlands. Well, most people move down south, not up uh, north. But I smashed a 150k armor van and old job got taken off driving duty to safety codes over there. Total bullshit. What went down? Yeah, it was David. It was. It was. Fucking. Well, it is, and that, that's the thing. I don't like to say it, guys, but that is the reason that. that I don't like to say it, but I don't want to give out where I live on YouTube because there's a, a lot of um, people, shady people out there. Mm. Uh, sorry to say that, but I'd rather not discuss exactly where I live or live on YouTube, thanks. Because for one reason or another, uh, people might not like me. 
uh, you know, which is fair enough. But don't go around trying to torch people's cars uh, because of it. It's not on at all. He wouldn't care if it was only my Skoda. But now he's got his new one. <laughs> I would care because it might be bloody breaking into your house or whatever. Yes. Yeah, but that's the thing, mate. That's uh, you never know. The trouble is, there's a lot of um, haters out there, and uh, yeah, you, know, you know, at the end of the day, I do reviews, I do live shows. I'm a fucking good bloke. I pay my taxes, do all of this. Lisa's a good blo- uh, good person. Bloke. I'm not a bloke. She's a good lass, and she pays her taxes and does everything right. We got a right to live and. You know, I fucking, it's just fucking not on. So we all vape, get over it. It shouldn't resort to fucking people finding out where people live and stuff like that. It's just not on. I think I'm going to have to go soon because it's uh, wound me up a little bit, to be honest. No, but we stand, we stand with Mark, don't we, over it all? Yeah, I do, but I I wasn't really going to... Didn't want to get wound up about it, but um, don't wind is that your up daughter? Up <laughs> Hi, Ian. She's older than me, but she looks a lot younger. Ian Kurz, you absolute legend. He knows what you mean. We've Why does this never look straight? Well, it hmm. looks like it's supposed to look. How's you doing, Mike? Lisa Chu. Thought I should stop for a vape and sell out. I knew what you meant with odd jobs straight away. I've had that one day. Exactly, mate. I thought I was the only one with a reverie. <laughs> I love it. Ian Kears is a fucking funny bloke, man. He's me and him fucking got a similar sense of humour. I like him. Big love, man. You change it for me, David. No, nobody's annoyed anybody. It's just obviously, you know. Grant, I'm not worried about Middlesex. Just don't ask me where I live now, mate. I am having a vape and a beer, but the trouble is, you never used to worry about it, Nicky. But then these days, you do obviously need to worry about it because uh, people can't just fucking just be nice, can they? Well, it's family in that as well, isn't there? That's the thing. What do you mean? Well, it's not only us, is it? We've got the kids as well. Well, exactly. Well, everyone's got families, haven't they? Mm. It's not just Mark. He had fucking Becca there. And the shit fucking she's had to deal with. I was listening from Fiona Street. Hi, two kid doing okay. Thanks. Hope you're good, pal. There you go, David. You got a shout out from me and live on YouTube, bro. Yeah, any other questions then? But not talking about residences. We are British, by the way. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. We live right on the fucking coast so we can see all the dinghies coming over every week. (laughs) (laughs) Bye, Rufus. Take care, hon. Cheers, Rufus. See you later, mate. <laughs> He's going to get a beer now. Hey. Going to get a beer now. No, I don't want one. I've got some coke. Oh, dear. Oh, it's funny, isn't it, really? What is? Well, just, you know, the whole thing. No, it isn't funny, no. What do you mean? What do you mean it's funny? Can you tr- grow your hair like me? No. He doesn't want to do that. I used to have long hair back in the day in the uh, when I was about 18. Well, and when I was 30 as well. In the band, uh, Neil. But mine's straight as fuck, mate. Hmm. I moisturise every day, old bear. That's what it is. Ever yeah. since I was 20. It is nice living by the sea, AVC. It's nice to look out the window and see the sea in the morning. Love it. 
picked up a VT two fifty C for a seventy pound, only ten more than the board cost. Yeah, Mike's my uh, Mike's my toy boy, aren't you, darling? Yes, I'm I'm Lisa's toy boy, everyone. <laughs> Even though she looks like she's my daughter, according to the old bear. Give some to Mike. What what are we still what are we still doing on, man? I don't need moisturizer. If I put moisturizer on, I'll get even more fucking spots coming up. <laughs> What's Goober doing now? I haven't seen Goober for a while. I think he lost it, his dad, didn't he? I think did he, he? I think he did, yeah. Well, I don't know. He didn't... I think he lost his dad a few months ago and his mum was ill. Yeah, I know his mum was ill. I haven't spoken to Goober for ages. But he's but... all right. I'll have to uh, hit him up, actually, because I didn't know that he lost his dad. Yeah. My missus is five years older than me. Yeah, Lisa's literally, how old are you? Five years or uh, four and a half years, isn't depends, it? Depends, because you're 46 now, aren't you? Yeah. And she's given the age away now as well. And I'm 51 in October, so that'll be six years. And then when it goes round again and you're 47... No, that's not years. six years. It's five, no, five years. Five years or four years. It's four and a half years if you know how to do maths. Mm. <laughs> I'm not very good at maths. <laughs> Mine is 13 years younger. Yeah, you've gone the right way, Kieran. To be honest, though, at least Lisa does look 13 years younger. People think my wife is younger than me. She loves it. She's nine years on me. Huh. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it, how different people age? I think it's been fucking... Well, saying that, doing... Look at um, old Bear's question. That's quite interesting. Question for MFA. If Lisa was a vape tank, which one would she be and why? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. I think she'd be the QP this one here that I've just reviewed actually then again I don't know that's a stupid question it's quite it's a good question I thought she'd probably be the fatality 28 to be honest which has got a very good flavour and likes high wattage and a hard hitter. <laughs> a hard hitter. Don't take no shit. And uh, yes, and uh, <laughs> does your head in. <laughs> I'm as old as the woman as I feel. Exactly. My ex was a only twenty. Three, eh? There's a fucking head case. <laughs> yes, old is always better. My too. ex was eight, only 23. Eight years younger, he made All right. Hair, eight years younger. I was going to say, fucking hell, Dave. Are you sure you should be writing that? Pick an expensive one, mate. All oh, right, okay, yeah. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not high maintenance. At all. I don't know expensive ones, Kieran. Oh, yeah, but come on, Mike. What about the bastard? <laughs> oh, yeah. Animods. I think my mum and dad might say something about no, that. No, yeah, you're not. Uh, no, it's a good uh, tank, apparently. Yeah? No, but I'm With not, doggy um, style. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not high maintenance, am I? No, you're not high maintenance, no. no. <laughs> I'm not. No, you're not. At all. The fatality was quite expensive and it's a sought after item that you can't get anymore. So I think that's uh, quite apt myself. Yeah, I'm like that, Kieran. I still feel 40-ish sometimes. You live in Rotherham? No, he's joking because you said about the eight years old. <laughs> oh, right. I think that's where the Arctic monkeys are from, isn't it? I still feel 40, but real 53. <laughs> you lucky boy, Kieran. 
Juggernaut. It's not a juggernaut because they put not on there. So it can't be a juggernaut. Do not say the F. <laughs> you just said it now. No, I think the fatality is a good one for Lisa because like I said, it's a, it's a, a hard hitter. A very good flavour. You can't get one anymore because she's mine. And uh, yeah, well sought after and holds her value. There you go. Oh, that's really cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm on Google Maps. Oh, God. <laughs> Shit. He's there for all eternity. It's like the Truman Show. Oh, I don't know. What are we doing? I shouldn't have been carrying this on on this live review, should I? We should have done a separate stream. I'm going to have to um, cut this out. Hey. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, because it's part of your review, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, welcome to the live Juggernaut V2RTA. It took four hours, 43 minutes, the review. skip to the end and they still won't see it <laughs> yeah if you're just tuning in guys yeah the juggernaut v2 it's a really good tank yeah go out and buy it so did they ask you to be on google maps david did they tell you afterwards so i thought they wouldn't they'd have to tell you wouldn't they you got to speak up, love, I expect. David, did you ask to be on Google Maps, uh, Lisa said, man? Did they, well, no, did they give, did they get his permission? I expect it was one of those street uh, view things, wasn't it? If they saw your panther builds. Dave. Five hour review, damn. Bye, Joseph. Hey. Oh, Joseph, nice one. See you later, mate. Thanks for tuning in. Has anyone got any questions for me? Lisa wants some questions, guys. Hit her up. And keep it clean. I'm drinking Thatcher cider, mate. So you can hear me. No, that's fine. ABC is always the mediator, isn't it? Yeah? <laughs> oh, God, big gob, you can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Get your questions in then, Felice. Why did you marry Mike? Thanks for the lovely radio vlog. Cheers, Hooked On <laughs> Funk. Cheers, Hooked On. See you later, bub. Uh, yeah, sometimes, David, yeah. Not that often, though, is it? <laughs> hey. No, not that often, no. Yeah, but, but... Sometimes. Yeah, I'm provoked a lot of the time as well. How long do you take him out to the woods and shoot him? <laughs> <laughs> um, Hang on, I think these are a little bit biased, these questions. <laughs> I think I'm pretty fucking well-behaved, to be honest. I wouldn't do that. No, I'm not. I'm generally pretty good, isn't I? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Right. We have had a bit of a, a thing tonight, but that's another story. And it wasn't us two, anyway. No, it wasn't us two. <laughs> no, I'm honest, David. That was. I wasn't. I wasn't pleading the fifth, honestly. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to have to shoot soon, I reckon. We've gone well past the, the time I was supposed to be finishing. Uh, 
Ask some sensible questions. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice thing. No, it's... it's funny. Right. Right, we are going to wrap it up now. I think we've had enough. We've uh, outstayed our welcome here, guys. So everyone who's tuned in tonight to watch the Juggernaut V2 review, you are absolute legends. What happened to the normal room? Did she make you bin all your gear? No, I didn't. Uh, the thing is, guys, what you've got to remember is I live in a family of, uh, well, you used to have five, but uh, Rosie's left there. She's got her own daughter. So we've got four of us in. We've got two boys. They're adults now, basically. Uh, one's, uh, how old is he? He's nearly 18. The other one, 22, is it? Yeah, nearly 23, yeah. Nearly 23. So we got... Night, David. It isn't just us two in here, so we do have shit going on a lot of the time anyway, so um, yeah, we have goings on, it's family life, like I say, it's not just one person's fault or whatever, shit happens, especially when you're in lockdown and stuff like that, so, um, but anyway, I appreciate what you're saying, AVC, I always check out your reviews because I respect you as a reviewer, as a uh, person as well. I know we've probably got Kira's, different... Kira's lovely, we've met, I've met Yeah, Kira. we've both met Kira. Uh, we might have different outlooks on certain things, but, uh, you know, if everyone was the same, uh, uh, it'd be very boring this world. But uh, as a reviewer, Kieran is Night an God. awesome reviewer and he does very good mouth to lung tanks, so... I do check him out uh, quite a lot, to be honest. There's not many reviewers I watch. There's probably about three or four I might check in to now and again. When Kieran puts a review up, I will do. So he hasn't got a thousand subs for being uh, shit. He talks honest. He knows what he's talking about. So go and check him out. And he's also a very nice guy. Only banter, Lisa. Yeah, no, he's talking about your other room. Did we chuck you out the other room? No, because you're working in here, aren't you? No, the, the thing is, though, with all of this stuff, it is it does get heated yeah, sometimes yeah. about where I do uh, do reviews and whatever. It it can do it because, like I say, it's, the point was it's not I can't just set up here like other reviews and all. I've got three other people in here. I can't just take up the room every day and fucking go live. So I have to pick and choose my moments, so to speak. Cheers, Fiona. Thanks for watching. Big love to you and Ian. Thank yeah, you very much. Bye, Fiona, Mwah. Ian. bye, Peter. Cheers, Peter. See you later, bro. Yeah, definitely, Kieran. Yeah, we'll have to nice do that, to Kieran. Yeah. Yeah, it was really uh, good meeting up with you. I mean, there were a few people that I enjoyed, really enjoyed talking to. You being one yeah, of them. Yeah, he's and, down to um, earth, isn't he? Yeah, and who was the other one I really enjoyed talking to, spoke to for a long time? Um, Red. Reverend yeah. Yeah. yeah, Reverend. Really nice. Yeah, guy. he's stopped reviewing now, hasn't he? But mm. doing his uh, space stuff, which is yeah. cool. Yeah, but he was really. Only oh, banter. That's, that's over to you, Mike, not me. <laughs> Only banter, mate. It might be coming back very soon, but uh, yeah, they have to watch this space. It may be next weekend, but it might not be. It, uh, depends whether we're going away, but they might do it without me. I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, we have got a weekend off n next weekend, a couple of days at the end of the week. I've got the week off. Lisa's got a couple of days off. So, But, yeah, it is due to be coming back. we just got to uh, yeah, uh, join the dots and uh, cross the T's, all that sort of shit. But it definitely will be coming back in some form or a other. So watch this space. But anyway, guys, it has been a right crack tonight. Juggernaut V2, I think it's really good if you want to go out and buy it. Watch the review back if you're only just joining me. Uh, everyone who's been interacting in chat. It's been a real good blast tonight. Sorry I got a little bit queer earlier, but yeah, we had to delay to start the stream, to be honest. So it was uh, surprising I fucking went that long before I fucking snapped, to be honest. But anyway, we will see you all again very soon indeed so big love and i'll catch you on the next review 